Hello everyone, I am Engineer Kaman Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Learners of Civil Engineering. In one of my previous videos, I have discussed uh, with you the concept of waterbound macadam road. Today I am on the construction site of a waterbound macadam road. Okay, the foundation for the waterbound macadam is uh, under construction. This person is uh, preparing the shoulders. This right dumb material and the left dumb material uh, is basically the portion for the shoulders. So prior to that, he is preparing the uh, uh, shoulders, okay, so that the waterbound material will be literally confirmed with the help of the, the, those shoulders. And now uh, you can see the foundation is under uh, progress, okay. This three-wheeled uh, vibratory roller you can see, okay. It is compacting the base for the waterbound macadam road. After that. Uh, after that water bound material will be transferred to side with the help of those numbers that you, you can see. Now you can see the dump water bound material on site. Further, uh, further this uh, material will be spread with the help of this tractor or grader. Okay, you can see. Now he is building the water bound material. You can use the grader as well. But so far it is a village road so they are using this tractor. Because the width of the road is minimum. It is almost 3 inch uh, down and 3 by 4 inch retained course aggregate. Now let me show you uh, some pictures of the coarse segregate. This is uh, an example of a good angular stone. Okay, it should be preferred on side. Okay, because then it can properly interlock with the help of uh, with other uh, aggregates. Okay, you can see this is an example of an elongated particle. Okay, it should be just uh, broken down on side or it should be removed from the side. This is an example of a flared particle. The flaky particle should also be removed and this is an example of a very poor material, the weather material. It is already rusted, okay. It may easily get wear and tear and will disturb uh, the reach of the waterbound macadam stratum. You can see this is a stone cancer, okay. It should be avoided. Now you can see the labors on site. They are further scrutinizing the aggregates, okay. They are breaking down the flaky or elongating particles, okay and they are removing the weathered material from the site and also they are giving a rough level to the stratum. Now uh, the coarse aggregate are compacted okay, without using any skewing material, any water and that's why it is known as dry compaction. After the dead stone dust will be applied on the site, again it will be compacted. Then after uh, that water will be given to uh, the stratum. Okay and uh, binding material will be applied and again it will be compacted okay then the reach will be ready so guys you can see this is an example of a compacted uh, water bound macadam stratum okay guys so now you can see stone dust a screening material has been applied on the reach okay it has not been uh, compacted properly when it will be compacted then it will be tested on the fdt test okay and the degree of compaction it should should be equal or more than 100 percent okay so if the, the degree of compaction will be more than 100%, then it will be recommended for the placement of asphaltic layers, okay? And the road will be completed then.